Welcome to Tecamuna.com video reviews. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. When you think of a smartwatch or fitness tracker, you probably think Apple, Google, and Samsung. Perhaps Fitbit and Garmin? Maybe even Xiaomi or Huawei. Most of these gadgets have a few core things in common. They all track your steps, sleep, heart rate, and give you some sort of notification. Some even go as far as tracking specific exercises, blood oxygen level, and even ECG. But what if I told you that there is a tracker that can do even more? Aside from all the things I mentioned, it can also take your temperature and blood pressure. And all that at a fraction of a price of an Apple Watch. So I took the challenge of finding that said unicorn of smartwatches. After searching numerous websites, I actually found quite a few. But I decided to pick the Smart Bracelet. It goes by a few different names like T1 Row J and Baki, but it's actually just rebranded from a generic manufacturer. But for this review, I'll just call it the T1. And the shocking part is that it only costs about 1,000 pesos or about 20 US dollars. For this, you're probably thinking, that can't be right. How can something that cheap be legit? Well, that's what we're here to find out. At first glance, the design of the watch is actually not that bad. It has a Fitbit charge look to it, the material is all plastic, and once you put it on, you can really feel that it's not up to the same quality as a Fitbit or even a Xiaomi Mi Band. But I wouldn't say it's terrible, more like acceptable. The strap also feels stiff and doesn't have that soft silicone material that you would expect, but again, acceptable. The screen is not OLED and can be difficult to see in direct sunlight but at least you can adjust the brightness. To navigate around, you just need to tap and hold a single capacitive metal button. It's not very responsive and the animation is simple. Now let's get into the features. First, you have three different watch faces, the step counter comparing it with my Mi Band always seems to count about 200 steps more. In fact, when I wake up in the morning, it already has 200 steps, strange. Calories is also way off, and the distance recorded was about 300 meters more than the Mi Band. The heart rate was very similar, just about 1 to 5 BPM difference. Blood pressure was actually surprising. Compared to a digital blood pressure monitor, it was spot on. However, after taking numerous readings, it would be sometimes way off. Blood oxygen reading was a bit low compared to a pulse oximeter. For the immune reference, my guess is that it uses all the previously mentioned readings and puts them through some sort of algorithm, quite similar to Garmin's body battery. Temperature reference. This measures body temperature, but from my testing, it only takes the skin temperature of your wrist. I tried heating up my arm with a hot water bag, then using an external thermometer it showed 38.5 versus 37 degrees on the watch. Not accurate, but at least it showed a temperature change. Now the ECG is quite interesting. Unfortunately, it's hard to verify. I was supposed to have an annual physical this month, but due to the COVID pandemic, it was put on hold. I wanted to compare it to an actual ECG machine. I guess that will have to wait. Sleep data has always been fascinating to me. The T1 showed 7 hours and 27 minutes versus 8 hours and 11 on the Mi Band with a breakdown of light and deep sleep data. For messages, this is where I was a bit disappointed. It only shows the first three lines. Also, notifications are limited to just a handful of apps. No Viber, no Telegram, and email. For sports, your only choices are running, biking, climbing, basketball, and football. But because of the local quarantine restrictions, I haven't been able to try any of them. Finally, we have the functions. The stopwatch works. Find phone. Couldn't get it to work. Music control works, but navigating with just one button is quite frustrating. Brightness control has four levels. And finally, we have power off. Now let's talk about the Wear Fit app. I was half expecting it to be garbage, but to my surprise, it is actually quite good. Not as advanced as Fitbit or Garmin, but very comprehensive and usable. I like the fact that you can take quick measurements of all the readings in one go, 
Also, being able to set hourly measurements is also handy. Another feature I like is that you can just pop off the strap and charge it into any USB charger. No need to carry around a separate cable. You can expect battery life to be about 3 days with hourly measurements enabled, probably around 5 to 7 if you disable them. So, is it better than an Apple Watch? Well, no. Not even better than my Xiaomi Mi Band. It does have a lot of potential. The idea of being able to collect and measure all this data could be very useful, especially during a pandemic. I can see this being used as a health tracker, then just validating any unusual readings, perhaps even track COVID-19 symptoms. Ultimately, it's the user interface that lets it down. Navigating around the watch is crucial to having an enjoyable everyday experience. Having a touchscreen would help. Also, getting software updates to improve the watch is something a user should look forward to. I'm not saying that this is a bad watch. Considering the price, I think it's amazing what you can get. I can only imagine how much better the experience would be if a major manufacturer would make a watch like this. So that was my review of the T1 Smart Fitness Tracker. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.